In Ecuador now, President Rafael Correa gave his annual State of the Union address yesterday. He announced a positive strides the country has experienced in what he calls priority areas. Now, those include poverty reduction and education. Our correspondent Liz Sherpius now brings us this report from Quito. Speaking to members of his government and citizens in the National Assembly for his annual State of the Union address, President Rafael Correa applauded advances which have been made under the Citizens' Revolution. President Correa highlighted the 12.5% reduction in poverty which has been made under his government since 2007, signaling that Ecuador is on its way to becoming a more equal society. Nuestro crecimiento, compatriotas. Our growth, comrades, has been in favor of the poor. This means that the well-being of the poorest of our society has grown at greater speed than the richest. What this means is that we are constructing a more equal and cohesive society. We should highlight that the reduction of inequality and poverty is a product of the citizens' revolution. A government priority has been to move away from dependence on oil and diversify the economy. President Correa said that this transition has been supported by high investment in education. One billion dollars has been invested in the creation of five top-tier universities with distinct focuses, moving towards what President Correa has called an economy based on knowledge and human talent. The construction of new universities, technical and technological training, the bettering of the quality of our institutions of higher education to create this human talent that is able to transform the diversification of our economy and also the eradication of poverty. These are the fundamental areas that are part of the transformation of our country. In his address, President Correa said that the external factors of the low international price of oil and depreciation of the U.S. dollar have not affected investment in sectors such as health and education. This, he said, is due to responsible spending and measures which have been taken to protect the economy, such as safeguards, which have also stimulated national production. We have to continue diversifying our economy with the important steps that are being taken, but also taking into account that we need to work on the ideological level to construct a socialist economy. President Correa said that in all sectors, the country has exceeded expectations and predicted that Ecuador will end the year on strong economic footing with continued high investment in priority areas. Liz Sherpius, Ecuador.